here? Oh, absolutely. Uh, you know, I told our guys yesterday, it's, we've, uh, it's been a long haul since uh, December, uh, end of the season. And a lot of guys have put in a lot of work, and, and a lot of players and coaches and seniors playing their last season, and their conditioning and all those things. So it's, it's fun to get to game week. It's what, uh, really what you do all this stuff for. And, uh, I think our guys are excited, our staff is ready to go. Were you able to accomplish what you wanted to accomplish during camp? Uh, you know, probably never, you know, Pete. You know, I think in all fairness, coaches have pretty high expectations. Uh, but I think we accomplished a lot. And I, I, think we're, I think we're ready to play an opponent. You know, I think we're, we're, we're ready to go play a game and see where we are. And uh, I think our guys have worked uh, very diligently, very hard. Uh, I think they want to be good. You know, you and I have talked before. I think they have the desire have but want to. Now it's the, the part of pulling and doing the things that you have to do to give yourself a chance to win. And playing games, um, you know, that's all you're looking for is a chance to win. And you have to do the things necessary up to that point and during the game to do that. So that's the process we're in now. And I'm getting ready to go play. John, are these types of games against major Division One schools a good barometer of where you are? Do you, do you, after the past several years, do you kind of get a feel where you are? Well, I think you can. I think you see, Dana, really how your team handles themselves. You know, I look at the first time we went over to Pitt. I don't think we handle ourselves very well at all, from coaches to players to uh, you know, the whole scenario. I think we were all caught up in where we were playing and uh, you know who we were playing and all those things. And the reality is, it's how you play. We go take care of the football and block the guys we're supposed to block and protect on the punt and cover kicks and, and uh, do all those things. And I think you can get a great barometer of whether you're doing those things or not in a, in a, uh, you know, a difficult atmosphere and a great venue. So uh, I think you can get a real good gauge. Uh, I think you also have to keep in perspective of, of numbers of folks that, that those guys have um, versus what we have. And I think those are real things. But I look for our team to go play well, uh, give ourselves, as I told them, do the things that it takes to give yourself a chance to have success. Well, that's what you're looking for. There's going to be 10, 12 plays in this game and make differences. And, you know, uh, that'll be the key. It's going to be the same week two and three and four. So I think in fairness, it, it's a great opportunity for our guys. It's a great venue. And I think we'll go see if we have prepared to do the things that we need to do. Is it difficult to prepare for a team? It could be any team when you, when you don't have them on the tape, a game that they've played or anything? Well, the thing you don't have on this group, I mean, you have their defense. I think Coach Wanstead's pretty much set on defense. I think when you watch their defense, you, you're going to see what they do. Uh, I think the difficult probably is more so for us is, is they got a new offensive coordinator. So I think we're in a little bit of a guessing game on defense as to where they're going to line up, the place they're going to run, formations, personnel, usages, those kind of things. You really don't, you really don't have that information. So that's a little bit uh, different. Um, you know, uh, you know, that's probably a little bit of the downside there. But special teams, those kind of things. Most of it's the same. We traded film with them. You know, so we have film from them. They have our games from last year. All of our games. We traded, I think, 12 for 12. So we have you know, most of their games except one, I think. And, and uh, you know, you get a little bit. You know, the biggest thing is the people. And that's who you're watching. You know, they, they've got some good folks. Coach, in the public's mind, when you go to a game like this, they always think that other team is bigger. But coaches always talk about the speed of the game at that level. How do you make up more for the difference in the the speed of the game played at that level as opposed to some other physical. Well, advantage. I think you know. I think the one thing we we'll have to do is you know we have to be. You know, Coach Coach Archer used to always say you got to be better rested than ready. And, uh, I think that's a very true aspect in this game. We're going to have to be extremely rested and fresh um, in order to play as quickly as they're going to play. I, however, also think we have some guys that can play quickly. I think we're we're, we're blessed in that aspect. I think we've got some folks that can run fast and. Play fast, and uh, so I, I'm. You know, I think we have to be very rested, uh, beginning because you're dealing with numbers. Uh, you know, they've, they've probably taken less reps than they've taken uh, in practice in summer camp. So I, I think some of it is real. Uh, the other side of that is I think we've got some folks who can run fast and, and uh, play fast as well. So uh, again, it's exciting to go see your guys play in that venue against you know, those kinds of numbers and, and uh, see how we end up doing.
you prepare for somebody like a true freshman like like Dion Lewis where you didn't really have anything in him? You don't. I mean, it's really, and it's like I said, you, you, you don't. You, you just prepare for hopefully what you think you're going to see. Uh, that's the interesting side again, sitting here coaching defense. We really don't have a great hand on what they're doing. We've got an idea. Uh, we've looked at tape, uh, studied the pit film, studied their personnel, try to get a handle on you know, what they did last year with the personnel that they have. Uh, you know, the majority of that staff is still intact. So. Uh, you know, you, you, you just get ready for um, the people that you're going to see, and you hope, again, you're going to have to guess right a little bit. We're going to have to you know, hope that we guess right. The other side of that is they don't really know what we're playing on defense either. I mean, that's the other thing. Uh, you know, we, we're doing different things than we did a year ago. We're not the same team that, we said that you know, they're watching on defense either. So uh, you know, we've changed up what we're doing, and uh, so that can be a little bit of an advantage as well. John, the only position that Coach Wentzett said today really that was stable was his quarterback and Ken Stalton's a senior. As far as the running backs, I know depth chart, mm -hmm. charts are just something they have to put down. Really didn't clarify who would be starting. But solid quarterback, what does he bring? Well, he's a veteran. And I think anytime you're dealing with uh, senior veterans, uh, I, I think they're special guys. I think uh, I don't think you ever know uh, what's going to happen when all of a sudden they, they go into that role. I think he's a guy that has withstood the test. And when guys do that, I think they can be awfully good. And uh, I would be surprised if he doesn't play a great football game just because I know how our guys at that age will play. And uh, I think he's an impressive guy. I don't, you know, I've just watched the film. But I think, again, you're dealing there with a guy that is coming back as a veteran. Anytime you're in that mode uh, and you know it's down to the grind, why you, you play as well as you can play. Coach, you talked about how before when you went to Pitt, you, didn't think you guys handled yourself real well. The fact that you've been to Ohio State in the last two years, a lot of these guys have uh, played there and at least been a part of that and have some type of uh, grasp as to what they're going up against. Does that help? Well, I think so. I think we realize it's football. You know, I mean, I think in, in fairness, I, I think we got uh, you know, it's just, as crazy as that movie is sometimes, the old Hoosiers where they're in there measuring the court and all those things. I mean, that's really what this is. It's a football game. I think we, we've learned that. When you, you go against, you, you have to play well. Um, it doesn't matter where or who you're playing. You know, we're going to have to go play well. We're going to have to do the things right. We're going to have to give ourselves a chance this week in preparation uh, to do all of those things. But, uh, you know, when I, and again, when I say we didn't, I, I just think our, our priorities when we went over there the last time were different. You know, and, I, and as a coach, I mean, I loaded everybody up on a bus and took them over there on a Friday to see Heinz Field. It's 100 yards long and 53 and some odd wide. Mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, so I learned a valuable lesson in my opinion. You know, we made a maybe a bigger deal out of going to that game than it was. And yet, you always want to err on the side of make sure you did it that way. Uh, but uh, we're going to go and play, get on a bus on Saturday morning and go play football, and, and uh, we're going to go play as well as we can play. And, uh, you know, I think that's what you look for. And, and uh, you know, again, I think those are some lessons that you learn a little bit that it's you still got to get dressed and buckle up and play ball and be where you're supposed to be. Coach, you haven't, uh, in, in the game against Pitt, Penn State, a couple of minutes, Ohio State, have not been able to put the ball in the end zone. How psychologically, if it matters at all, how big a factor is that to you? Oh, players? I think it's, you know, I think it, when you're competitive, Jim, it eats at you a little bit. You know, I think our guys want to go score and uh, you want to go win a game. I mean, that's what you're trying to do. I think any time that happens, it eats at you. I don't think it's okay. Uh, you know, it's just like giving up once. You know, we haven't done a great job on the other side of the ball either in those games. So uh, I think we've got, you know, when, you, when you start looking at the scenario that we're in, uh, we need to go play better football. And uh, that's the reality. And uh, how do you do that? You prepare and, and uh, you work hard and you study and, and you go do the best you can. But, uh, you know, the offense gets picked a little bit because we haven't scored a touchdown. We should give up a bunch on the other side of the ball. And so it's a team deal. And you look at special teams and you know, how well we've done a kicking game. And, you know, you look through the thing, we've got to go play better. And that's the reality of it. And we, we're getting a shot at this thing, you got to go play better. And I think that's what we're